Oh, hey. Hello, guys. You Welcome knew, you to knew, today's I, I thought you were going live, yeah? Yeah, I was a little bit too relaxed. Because, uh, you know, the waiting is always so long, right? All right, guys. Hey, I'm Ja, and today I have our lovely Eric with me. Hello, everybody. And as you can see, our setup is a little bit different than usual. So, you know, you're used to the table being different, uh, you know, our placement being different. And uh, now Eric is just like somewhere in the corner there. Yeah, Yeah. really small, but yeah. still social distancing. Of course, yeah, it's like very, very far away yeah. from me. So, uh, we'll far, far, far. <laughs> okay, so yeah, obviously you guys can already see big ass chairs in front of the camera. And of course, there are a big topic of today's live stream. So, what are we going to do today? I'm we going to roll up my sleeves. <laughs> That's yeah, it. me too, later. That's a suggestion, like... So, yeah, today it's all about, you know, gaming and enjoying the high FPS, but also doing so being very, very comfortable. Ja, 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 ja. Just tell them we are going to cut open a chair. <coughs> Well, we I are mean, going to cut open a chair, so that, that's goes, why I'm there here. There goes the surprise. Uh, yes, we will. I have my knife ready here. So and I, I, I hope you know, we. I hope now we have some uh, some uh, viewers who vote yes because last time we had a bunch of pushies. We just said no, no, don't do it. Don't touch the gaming chair. If if got to beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, today we uh, will uh, introduce, well not introduce, but get you more familiar with the Infinite X series because, um, you know, if you want to have high FPS, if you want to get uh, very, very, very comfortable behind gaming and just winning everything, well, that's the place to be. And there are many models uh, for you to consider if you're looking for one of these, and especially if you can't get your hand on one of the RTX 30 series, well, this is a solution because there is one in it right and later uh, we'll also move on to the chairs and tell you all about the different models that we have been working on uh, for the past year and uh, we have brought out and also of course we're going to completely demolish one of the three chairs yes and uh, yeah uh, I did forget my glove so I hope I don't cut my fingers but uh, we'll see later right all right so Hello to everybody in the chat. I see uh, plenty, of, plenty of guys already tuned in. So Let's uh, yeah. talk about a giveaway. Yeah, while we're at it, you know, this is the giveaway for Hala. So if you want to have one uh, Assassin's Creed for Hala, just make sure to go to msitecom slash two slash insider. Maybe and you there. need to rotate the chair a little bit. Mm. Because it's, yes, 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 like that. Like that. All right. Yeah. And if you go there, <clears throat> the more actions you perform, the more chances you have at winning one of the game codes because we have more to be given away, uh, to give away today. And if you didn't win on the first try, don't worry, you're still in the drawing pool until the very end of the live stream. And also uh, make sure to check out our loyalty bonus system because uh, we introduced this like a few months ago. And it seems like it has been giving people yeah, quite some and hence chance at winning one of the game codes because we've seen plenty of people using uh, the uh, loyalty bonus already. Indeed. And this does higher your chance of winning. Yeah. And how do you get the loyalty bonus? By watching the live stream. So every Wednesday we do a live stream in case you're new here. And the more you, do, you watch, uh, the more loyalty bonuses you will build up, uh, which you can eventually then again use for free. Yeah, if you're watching on uh, YouTube or uh, Twitch, uh, we have a bot running, uh, each five minutes it spams the link. Most people already know what to do, so you can click on it. It's a Gleam link, so uh, that's where the, the giveaway system is located. All right, let me put Lucky back to If you have place. any questions, drop them in the chat. Do yeah. you have a knife to open the cushions? Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, uh, Ja, he, he first had a knife from uh, CSGO. Yeah, I had a beautiful karambit. But it, uh, uh, he steel. did some uh, Googling and he, he found out it was like border edge legal. So well, yeah, you were allowed to have this like a decoration, uh, you know, in house. So seeing this in action was a very, very big gray area. So, you know, we stuck uh, to the safe way. Um, yeah, somebody, uh, Joe is asking, are you going to cut open Lucky? 
Are you serious? <laughs> no way! Are you serious, dude? How can we cut open this this beautiful little plushie that everybody we, wants? We should ban him, Joe. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yes. Uh -uh. Uh, the Keenum saying the chair that job battles uh, will go to Valhalla. Uh, probably. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we'll first kick off what's right in front of me right here. Well, generally there is a tempered glass over the side panel, or uh, that's the side of the case. But, you know, we were having some technical difficulties with the camera reflections and the tempered glass since it was so shiny. Uh, so we decided to just put it down there. So don't worry guys, it is still here. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, but this one does come with a tempered glass and also a metal side plate. So in case you're traveling, um, you can just switch around so you don't break the tempered glass. You, you should be honest. Accident. The tempered glass had too many of your fingerprints on it. That's why we cannot show it. Yes, but I already wiped all my oh, prints. Okay. You know, I watch a lot of uh, NCIS and stuff like that. I'm excellent at print wiping. <laughs> wiping. So that's that's already been done. Um, Okay, so <coughs> if you guys have any questions regarding this, uh, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to uh, get into what we have here. So, uh, for some of you uh, who have watched our previous streams or, uh, well, from quite some time ago, might recognize all of this. Um, so, yes, uh, this is the Infinite X and this is the model with the RTX 30, which is still quite relatively new uh, on the market. And even these kind of models are, are well going like hotcakes and the supply is uh, well not optimal at this moment but I'll get into that later because there are still quite some supply regarding some uh, other skills and models in this infinite uh, lineup that you can still uh, make good use of but <clears throat> so the infinite X the inside what it looks like so as you can already see we have water cooling right here uh, you know it's it's a little fun little uh, all in one head you can turn it around if you feel like so yeah we did that uh, depending on how you uh, position no, it you on the socket upside down yeah uh, so you know in case you have uh, mounted your uh, water cooling already and you just noticed that you know the logo was like upside down you know don't worry you can just switch it around happens to the, to the best of us and voila there it is of course and underneath this um, is the almighty powerful uh, uh, i9 10900k and of course if you are looking for something uh, that's a little bit less powerful no worries we have more uh, configurations available of course and all of this uh, later so what else do we have here? And of course, this is what everybody is trying to get his hands, well, get a hands on, right? A beautiful RTX 30. So in this case, we have the uh, RTX 3080, which is our Fentus 3X version with three fans. And well, if, if you're familiar with the previous models, uh, you will know that uh, usually we'll have a vertical uh, integrated gra graphics system uh, right here we still have uh, that option available if you opt to do so uh, so you can still make use of the vertical integration but you got to make sure that uh, you watch out with your uh, GPU because the side panel will ha still have to be slapped on there right so there's still uh, enough room left to breathe uh, so yeah, you still have the flexibility here and... Uh, ja, question from the chat. Is that yeah. a micro ATX board? It's a micro ATX, yes. yes. Not, not ITX, but ATX. Yes. And the chipset is, of course, a Z490. Um, okay, so yeah, just uh, holler at me if there's any questions. André uh, is uh, getting again his uh, weekly pizza. So maybe we should have a vote what he's going to uh, order. Sharing is caring. Yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> I think in Germany he already asked what, what we want on this pizza. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is the internet, right? And if we're talking about pizza, it has to be, of course, pizza Hawaii with pineapple on it. So we can trigger some people. Okay, Andre, get that one. Because, yeah, let's be honest, is there real pizza? I don't know. I'm not Italian. But uh, yeah, here we already have some reaction. Uh, Moro Deer on Twitch is saying, no pineapple! Uh, uh, OK, 
Okay. Yeah, Is I, there any I'm insider information you can provide on why the 30 uh, series GPUs? Well, I think we talk uh, weekly about this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a mix of things. Um, there is a huge uh, demand, uh, meaning not only on uh, GPUs, but only uh, on all semiconductors. Uh, for example, there is also a huge shortage on, uh, for example, the, the chips which go into cars uh, for navigation, etc. Um, the transport co cost increased a lot. So uh, it's very uh, costly to transport goods from China or from Asia, where the, most of the factories are located, to uh, either Europe or, or uh, USA. Um, yeah, and basically all the components in the whole supply chain increased. So that's why basically everything, you know, it's uh, on top of each other, everything is very expensive. And then there is a shortage, there's a lot of demand, and this means that a lot of people can just ask what they want and and some people are uh, also unfortunately paying for it <laughs> yeah. so um yeah no secret uh this will ease but uh i was a few weeks ago was saying this should be become better in the second half and yes it will become better but now i hear already people saying that it's 2022 so it will take until 2022 uh, next year until there is enough supply so yeah let's wait and see <coughs> mm -hmm. Um, I see no is asking uh, any comments regarding the airflow of this case. Uh, no worries. In this case, you have excellent airflow. Uh, there's plenty of room to, uh, you know, for the air outtake uh, all the way up in front. There's also a fan available, and if you all, uh, well, if you want to, you even have uh, more spaces left to uh, install more fans to your liking. Uh, you can uh, install new fans for the air intake on the front. Uh, you can install an extra fan for outtake, um, yeah, and uh, all in all, just nothing to complain here. And the side panel, uh, well, later, if I slap on the uh, tempered glass, you also see that there's still plenty of room left uh, for the side to have a proper airflow. So it's not like it's uh, very tightened uh, and closed which makes the case hard to breathe. I know there have been some cases regarding these kind of cases, uh, but not here, so don't worry. And later, uh, when I get into gameplay, when I show you all the stats, uh, I will also show you the temperatures and stuff like that. So yeah, um, yeah, you also see later uh, in a live demonstration, so you don't have to take my word for it. Um, okay. Any other questions? Uh, question. Um, so why didn't the prices rise of the PS5 and Xbox? And the same with phones. I believe uh, for phones they have a different strategy, meaning that the um, uh, yes, there's also shortage, same issue, but they have more focus on the high-end models. So you see that the uh, the shortage will. Oh, I will go to main, then people can see me talk. Otherwise, it's a bit strange. Uh, so shortage will uh, be on the entry-level models, and on the the higher models, they earn more margin, etc. It's more for marketing. So, um, now what else? PS5 and Xbox. Yeah, I'm, they also have limited output. Uh, I mean, the, why didn't prices rise? Uh, yeah, you see all the scalpers. <laughs> yeah, and also the miners. Yeah, I saw some screenshots of uh, uh, PS5 mining, but it was fake. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, ah! Oh. If you're creative, you always find a way. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, all right, then uh, I guess we'll uh, dive back into the insights and then we'll work on there a lot. <clears throat> so let me switch around a little bit so you can see better. So like I just mentioned earlier, as you can see, still plenty of room left for air outtake. As you can see, this entire upper front for 70% is like an open system. Uh, so yeah, um, very, very airy. So yeah, this one is uh, you said with RTX 30. We also still have RTX 20 versions. Yes, we still have plenty actually. Okay. Um, so either in uh, the uh, Infinite X or uh, in uh, the regular Infinite series, or um, yeah, you can even still up for the ninth generation, which is still uh, you know there's nothing to be taken away there. It's still an excellent system with an i9 9900K or a 9700K yeah. uh, with RTX 20 series. And there's even more options. So yeah, right now you have the ninth generation and the tenth generation. 
Uh, both will come with RTX 20 series. Uh, only the tens will come with RTX 30 series. So, if you're finding yourself in dire need of a very powerful gaming PC, but the supply on the RTX 30 is just very, very tight, there's still plenty other models and SKUs in the Infinite lineup, which you can still consider, which are still a very, very good battle station for you. So, Ja, somebody is commenting, uh, I guess, your cable management skills. So, to be clear, you put this one together, right? Yeah, definitely. I uh, work in a factory and no, I but assemble you, everything and I... <laughs> no, but you, t you told me that you, you, uh, you put this PC together to, to resemble the specs we have on the list. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, a, a little bit of backstory regarding that is that, you know, here also because, you know, this is MSI Insiders, right? And the way we work here is that in the office or in our team, we generally get like samples from our headquarters uh, colleagues in Taiwan. So they send us new stuff, which are, you know, still very early in early stages and stuff. And then, you know, we work around with them. Uh, we, we, we play around and we test them and we use them. But, um, yeah. So in this specific case, I had an ESUS TI5, and that one was actually a bare-boned version. So there were like no internal organs, no components inside, except for the CPU cooling and the motherboard. Uh, so yeah, I swapped out the internals of the Infinite X, so since they use the same chipset and the same CPU and the same GPU and the memory, um, we did a lot of projects with the ESUS TI5, which is like the monstrous uh, gaming PC, which is our newest. And of course, I had to switch back because uh, we were back at the infinite. So yeah. you want me to give it to you? What did you say? You want me to give it to you? This one? Yeah, you can. Just uh, drive it to me since it have <laughs> has, since it has wheels. I mean, then people know what you're talking about. One moment. So this is the TI5 which is basically our most top of the line gaming PC ever produced. Uh, if you want to have the newest uh, features, uh, we even have like a human interface, um, well, a lab dial in front, which you can uh, use to activate a lot of uh, features, uh, starting your games, you know, setting sounds and tuning your music and stuff like that, uh, in your system, there's even the monitor function. But uh, it's not about this one, but now you know what we're talking about. So this is the ESTS TI5. So, you know, these two, they share their same internals, you know, the CPU, the, the chipset. And sometimes uh, also happens that like me or Michiel, we have a live stream with a mainboard or something and then we need a CPU. And they also come stealing in my... No, we borrow it. Stops. <laughs> we borrow it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's that's how we work. Yeah. <laughs> so, Michiel, yeah, he is... Uh, he's, yeah, he, he does the motherboard and stuff like that. So, yeah. We uh, help each other out. So, if he needs a CPU, you know, I have all the desktops with the CPUs available. So, yeah, we swap around. So, that's uh, yeah, generally how we work here in the team to be a little bit more efficient. So, we don't need to have duplicate items, you know, every time there's something new. Um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, Final Odyssey is already saying, does she shish TI5 ride? Before I showed it, yes, yes, yes. And uh, Memer, Dreamer saying, Alien PC. Uh, we, we'll take that, we'll take that. <coughs> okay, where was I? So yeah, the cable management indeed. Um, yeah, well, basically I just put into uh, the GPU, the memory, uh, reinstalled the all-in-one uh, water cooling, but uh, yeah, this is... We are happy it works, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the game runs and it's not exploding. There's no smoke coming out of it anywhere. So I'm, 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 I'm yeah, I'm happy. Um, yeah, but basically this is how it comes out of the factory. Uh, everything is already pre-assembled and neatly put together. Uh, this is also um, pretty much what we want with our promise to have you, uh, well, to, to get you a easy to upgrade experience so you can have an easy to upgrade experience if all the cables are like inside and everywhere and in the way so you know yeah that's just that's just how the infinite flexes i was actually reading an article about uh here in holland one of the first computer stores and then we're talking about uh, like uh, more than 20 years ago um, 
but people, you know, they, they, they didn't know um, how to build a PC. They went to the stores to get uh, information, to get uh, advice on, on what to combine, how to build a store. And then I'm really going back to 1995 or something. I was also building a PC, uh, just talking with a, fr uh, with a friend about this. I had a fancy Jesus, I was still playing with mud. Yeah, well, I had a Pentium Pro, <laughs> uh, Pentium Pro 200. It was like the first 32-bit uh, uh, CPU. And you needed to run the Windows NT, uh, Windows 4.0 was a beta in order to benefit from that. Uh, but uh, then there were a lot of stores and there were uh, not so many uh, pre-assembled PCs. That's wh uh, when at the time uh, when those stores started producing their own PCs and then the A brands came. I think you had Gateway, you know, the, the one with the cows. You remember that brand? Oh, that's a very, very long time ago. That's I'm a long time sure ago. I yeah. remember that. Dell, HP, and of course, and, and this is also uh, how we rolled into the, the full systems. Um, because we have a lot of knowledge about combining, like, like making mainboards and then the VJ cards, also combining them. And we always had uh, problems, limitations, let's say, because we, we didn't uh, make the whole ecosystem, it was only mainboard and VJ, how to combine them. And if you put them in a case, you know, how will the airflow uh, affect it the air, the, from a case from other vendors? So, and all this knowledge and all these wishes, basically, what we were missing in, in the ecosystem uh, from uh, other vendors or in cases from other vendors, power supplies, we're now trying to put together in these, um, in these uh, pre-assembled, uh, yeah, we call them full desktop or full gaming desktop uh, PCs. So, uh, these are not always standard motherboards. Uh, sometimes they have some proprietary uh, connectors, uh, so custom made connectors on, on certain locations uh, for us to, for example, have an overclocking button. This one, Ja, has an overclocking button? I don't think so, no, does no. it? No, but the other one, for example, with the display, uh, you just show. Uh, mm -hmm. The knob on front, etc. Yes. So, so yeah, uh, basically that's like a pre-arranged uh, overclocking feature. Yeah. So the system will automatically like uh, push the CPU to uh, well work at its best, like all the time. So it's it's like a drag and center feature. Uh, and uh, I see there's people. Okay. Quite a lot of stuff happening in the chat. I'll leave that to Eric. Is there any place where I can get a GPU for MSRP? No, at this moment I don't think so. I feel you. Yeah. We like that too, but it's all out of our hands. <clears throat> okay, so uh, while Eric's busy, he can switch back to uh, the webcam view and then we can continue. Uh, okay, let me show you here. So you see that here there's like a tunnel like separation between what's underneath here and what's up here so this is like one chamber that's uh, being separated from the PSU so the PSU is being like bunked away in this bunker and this way you know they will not uh, well they will not make each other's heat so basically, in short, it's just for a better heat dissipation. Uh, dissipation. So here we have a separation. When your system works at its best or at its hardest, everything will uh, run much hotter. So in that case, this will make sure that the components being hidden away here and the ones here, they will not amplify each other's heat. So the heat can dissipate more efficiently. <coughs> And if you're wondering, okay, if I want to have the vertical integrated system uh, well set up, what do you do? Well, you'll need to get a PCIe Express uh, extension card and also the, well, basically just install it here, which is this cutout, which is already here, with the screws lined up. So you install it there and then you can take the cable to the original PCIe Express slot. And then, of course, here is the slots for the GPU. Just take these out and you will have your vertically integrated setup if you still prefer to do so. 
Okay, so yeah, that's basically the insights. I mean, um, there isn't that much to tell about the insight anymore, except for, you know, there's of course uh, the uh, st slots for the M.2 uh, Express, uh, M.2 lanes. One is being hidden away under the GPU and one is right in between the GPU and the CPU. But of course, in with this kind of systems, this is also what you come to expect, to have at least two M.2 slots. Well, the memory slots, nothing to uh, really mention there. And if you're still traditional and old school and you're using SSDs and SATAs and stuff like that, on the back side of uh, the infinite, there's uh, slots for you to install those. Some questions from the chat. Are you working on uh, Gen 4 PCI uh, Express risers? Not, by, uh, not that I know. Uh, risers is, a <laughs> I want to say, a hot topic at the moment. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, PCI Express Gen 4 needs a lot of um, certification and has high, uh, very high speeds. So that will not be easy. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if we are planning to bring them to the market. Um, why is a Mystic Lite not compatible with the A320 MA Pro? Dash, of, uh, MA dash Pro? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, which which one? Uh, there was a question about Mystic Light and the main board. I don't know. But isn't that main board? Uh, that's not a gaming main board. No. Yeah, but it's. I even don't know if that that motherboard. Then I need to check uh, if it has spin headers for RGB. Which way are the fans blowing, Ja? <coughs> Stick your finger in it. <coughs> so. This one is <laughs> taking the hair uh, out of the case to the back. So that's this one. And here, this one is actually blowing hot air in. Hot? I mean, uh, cool air, of course. <laughs> and any, fa any more fans? Yeah, because I see another fan at the front. Yes. So from we have another intake fan, which typically, typically as the name suggests, intake, it takes cool air in. Um, well, of course, that depends on how you set the fan up. If you, turn, if, if you flip the fan around, then it's, it's an outtake because it takes the air out instead of in. Yeah. So, yeah, um, any other questions regarding their internals? Um, considering how big the 3080 is, uh, can you mount it vertically, this one? Well, you can, but you have to, uh, so let me show you this little thumb screws. So this is what, uh, well, together with these, that's what puts your tempered glass in place in four corners. So here, there, and here. And this one. This creates, is dangerous, Ja, what you're doing. And this creates a, the distance. What do you mean? You, you and screws. Oh, yes, but we have plenty of those. Yeah. Luckily. Uh, so. We have four, but how many do we have they are after dispensable. we finished? <laughs> so, this one creates the distance between your temp glass and your case. So, pretty much is how much air your PC is going to be able to uh, breathe from. So, so uh, basically, from that's for the airflow uh, for the GPU. Yes. And this one you can extend. So if you're trying to vertically integrate your GPU in here, like I just show you where it could do, and the GPU is like just too thick, you know, it's a thick boy. Well, then you gotta extend this one to make sure that uh, there's still enough room for the GPU to breathe or even close the tempered glass. And the case does come with extra extensions. So you just have to install an extra let's say, how do you call this, a uh, little screw, and then you screw that one on top of here, and then this one will become double the length. So with that, you have the possibility to install, for example, a thick boy 3080, or even 3090 if you prefer so. So yeah, that's uh, how you have to uh, handle it. If, uh, yeah, but by default, they're coming like this, right? Yes. So in the box, you'll find them in a plastic little box or for the extra accessories. That's where you will find all the extras. <coughs> okay. 
So yeah, that's uh, pretty much about the internals uh, here. Uh, on the other side, like I mentioned, there are some uh, more SATA and SSD slots, but nothing really too interesting to open up to show you guys. Oh, by the way, if you, I mean, Ja, you were talking about tempered glass. Uh, if you want to know how strong tempered glass is, uh, Michiel, he, Michiel and me, I think, uh, end last year. Yeah, we so, did uh, uh, something about something about that. Yeah. Yeah, we did a live stream about uh, <laughs> how easy it breaks. <laughs> It was quite fun yeah, with a hammer. It didn't seem that easy. No, well, we had, we had a normal tempered glass right. and we had the, um, yeah, what was it? The, the double tempered special glass with some uh, layer between there, uh, sound damping. And that one was not easy to break, but everything breaks in the end. <laughs> if you try hard enough, everything will break. Yes. <coughs> Somebody asking, Isis TI5 back in stock. Do you know anything about this? Uh, yes, uh, we know that the ESS TI5 was uh, <laughs> not that, let's say, it, it got sold out pre pretty quickly in many uh, regions. Uh, I know that it, it's being resupplied, but I know it's very limited. So um, I can't say for sure just how this is going to work out for you, but it's very limited, unfortunately, for now. Due to the GPU? Yes. Okay. The GPU, because the, the, the ESUS only comes with the RTX 30. There is yeah. no 20 series uh, versions of it, so it's very dependent on that. Um, so I, I hope uh, it will be resupplied in your neighborhood soon. <laughs> but can't promise anything as things look right now. Okay. Yeah, Legacy ZA is saying, yes, my whole PC is MSI, including a six, uh, 660 Ti, which is dying. Too bad I can't replace it. Yeah, it's at this moment very difficult. Maybe something second-handed or uh, a 2000 series if you're going for <laughs> NVIDIA. Patience, my friend. Patience. Yeah, it's... Uh, luckily, they're not uh, launching any big games that everybody wants to play. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only Cyberpunk, right? Yeah, that was last year, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, that's it. Um, I was actually telling Ja, I, I uh, borrowed the, the 3090 from the office to uh, play uh, Cyberpunk. I finished it and now I'm back to uh, Battlefield. And I said, yeah, I still have this, uh, uh, this 3080, but I'm playing Battlefield, so I actually don't need it anymore. Yeah, some games just never die. Yes. But yeah, Battlefield 4 and the uh, RTX 3090, that's... Uh, ja. People are asking about your socks. About my socks? Yes. Sunflowers? Pineapples, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Egg. Nope. What is it? It's a, a snowman. You guys, you guys can guess. I mean, right? Take a good look. Yeah, this is this is not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> I see what it is. It's a uh, avocado. Exactly. People got it. No, not ca I do have cat socks, but just not with me today. Uh, it's an <laughs> avocado with a sunglass on top of his hat, because why cool. not? Um, okay, so um, uh, I'm going to finish this up because, uh, well, there's only the exterior left. And on the front, you can see we have our uh, traditional, well, our very iconic Tracer RGB, so everything here and the internal ones are all linked together, so they sync uh, in the, with, with the same effect. Uh, yeah, furthermore, um, anything else you want to see on the outside, just uh, let me know. Here's the tempered glass. I'm checking if a bot is still running. It is on YouTube. It is on Facebook. Oh, not on Facebook. All right. <coughs> so, before I uh, show you guys, you know, what other options are still there, you know, and what kind of prices are we talking about? Because there are, like I mentioned, there are more models in the Infinite series, and these, uh, or they are still, still very, very uh, relevant even nowadays, even with the 20 series, RTX 20 series. But before I go do that, maybe uh, we can already uh, see who made use of the loyalty bonus, uh, who oh, yeah, good idea, entered yeah. the giveaway. Yes, uh, draw winners. Yeah, so uh, if you just joined, no worry, you can still participate. We still have plenty of codes to give away. Uh, you can still win. So who is the first winner of today? 
So the first winner is Iron Rage 3. It should be a unique name, Iron, Iron Rage. Rage 3. Uh, congratulations in the coming days. We will send you by email a game code for Assassin's uh, Creed Valhalla. Congrats. Really nice game. If you want to it's participate, go to uh, Ja. Can you turn this chair a little bit again? Amazon.com slash 2 slash insider. Thank you. Perfect. Or on YouTube and Twitch, we have a bot running, spams the Gleam link each five minutes. Iron Rage 3, it sounds very familiar. I'm pretty yeah, sure he also won like last week or the week before no. that. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes life just doesn't throw you lemons, but game codes. Congratulations. Have fun. Uh, and and I'm to going to check if he won before. To the rest of you guys, uh, um. still good luck. You can still win one of the codes. All right. So. Uh, uh, any other questions for Dave and Dex right now or anything else? Otherwise, I'm going to continue. Uh, then Eric will have to switch <laughs> to right egg talks, yeah. my laptop. Yes. All right. Question? Uh, will all the future RTX GPUs ha uh, going forward have the mining nerf implemented? Uh, sorry, don't know about that. Um, yeah, don't know about that. I mean, uh, three options. Either they implement it or they don't implement it. Or they have a new SKU. That's the third option, which will implement it. So the current versions don't have it and they maybe end of life them. And there is a new version, but I don't know anything about this. Uh, and is it really helping? I mean, I saw some miners posting that it's still affordable, depending, of course, on the Ethereum price or whatever they're mining, um, that it's still uh, uh, affordable. So, no, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was uh, just reading what the Kinem is saying. Can Ja please punch the cushions on the chair? I want to see the rebound from the impression left. It will show me if it's high quality padding as I think it's in. Perhaps? You already want me to get to it? Well, you can just, I mean, give them a test run. All right. So I guess... Just punch. With cushions, you mean really the cushions, right? Yes. Okay. So here comes the first punch. Maybe turn a little bit, yeah. Maybe you need to make a like a like jump and, and with your leg. <coughs> High kick. Mean... Uppercut. Are you sure that's safe? I don't know. No, let, let, let's not do that. Let's do the first first time. I'm not saying that I can do it. I can. I mean, did you look at me? But let's stick to the punch. It's uh, really bouncy. But, okay, question. Why does this guy want to know? Is he always fighting with a chair at home? <clears throat> I guess that's his way of telling how bouncy and how quality, uh, well, what's the quality mm. of what's mm. inside. Okay, 1-0 for Ja. Maybe in the end the chair will win. Yeah, and now people are suggesting, can you throw the chair at Eric? No, 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 no. He, he is my boss, you realize that, right? No like. <laughs> I All just right. checked and indeed uh, this uh, Iron Rage won two times. Well, good for him. Well, 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 you lucky bastard. Yes. Okay, so back to reality. <coughs> Eric. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to linger on uh, this. Uh, you can read yourself, but uh, yeah. So this is the specs uh, that the Infinite X comes with, uh, the highest one. But like we mentioned earlier, there's also still the RTX 20 series, uh, which are still very, very readily available, better than the 30X uh, with the RTX 30 series. So if you're looking for a capable gaming PC, definitely uh, still go check out the uh, 10th generation with RTX 20 series. They are still very, very capable. Uh, nonetheless, so yeah. Uh, I kick some cool. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, let me know. Yeah, I'm checking chat. So before I uh, show you, you know, because the previous one, if you 
read properly, it says MEG, right? So this is from our MEG segment. Now, we have the MAG and we have the MPG and we have the MEG. So the A stands for Arsenal and the P stands for Performance and the E stands for Enthusiast. So we have the beginner, we have the intermediate and we have the advanced, so to speak, if you want to compare this. And so whenever you see MAG or MPG, MEG in our products, you should just remember, okay, if it's MAG, it means they're just really good, no nonsense um, you know, gaming hardware. But if you're someone that requires some more features, you know, a, a little bit more fancy looking, uh, but it has, you know, just generally packs more features, you'll go to MPG. And if you really want to absolute best, uh, with the best performance, with the newest features, with the, with the best innovations available, uh, that's when you have to look at RM, uh, MEG, so which is the higher segment. So now you know, whenever you see MAG, MPG, MEG, you're not confused anymore. Did you just cough? I didn't cough. Oh, somebody said, oh, that's a nasty cough. Did I cough? I don't know. I don't remember ca uh, ca coughing, Otherwise, but... Otherwise, I'm like this. Do I also got to be like this? Security first. Nah, I'm far away from you. No, no, I just look like a ninja. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so will uh, MSI be making Shakira uh, series with a mesh front panel? Um, I also saw earlier a question about... Um, how do you say that? About our cases. Sorry, I don't know the latest roadmap, so I cannot answer that. Even if we want it, I don't know. So, all right. Um, the infinite series. So we have the X, we have the non X, which is the regular version. So if you are somebody that's, uh, you know, that's looking for a PC or a gaming PC, that's, you know, that's going to get you through all the games, but you don't have to have every game set at Ultra. You know, that's where you'll be looking at the non X versions. And of course, naturally, these are also cheaper than the Infinite X, which is like the highest one in an Infinite series. And so if you're looking at the Infinite series, uh, well, that one goes all the way up to 10,700. Uh, and for the GPU, we have the uh, 3060 Ti. And again, these are also still available in the RTX 20 series, which are still very good options because uh -huh. we know that the, uh, even the gaming desktops with RTX 30, uh, 30 series, the supply is not optimal. So if you're looking for something very good for gaming, definitely go check out the Infinite Series with RTX 20 Series still. And then if you're someone that doesn't want to have a tower in an Infinite Series, we also have the Small Form Factory gaming desktop. Uh, I did have it on my desk somewhere before, but it's really small. Uh, I think what are you I lost looking for? it somewhere along the way. Let me see. Ah, look at this. We're sitting right here. Didn't see it. So we still have the Infinite S, which is very, very small. It's only 10 liters. And if you compare this to the tower, which is sitting right here, you see what I mean. It probably fits like two and a half times in this uh, tower. And it's also thinner. So this one is really meant for having a very, very neat desk. But that one, no 3080 fits in, right? No. <laughs> so this one is not for the enthusiast who play cyberpunk, you know, at 8K and everything set to ultra. That's not what this is meant for. This is meant for if you just want to enjoy games, you know, set, uh, you know, even 1440p, no problem. You can set the settings too high and you can still have 60 to like 90 FPS on average with AAA title games, depending on, you know, uh, what game it is, uh, of course. And if what? you're an eSport gamer, well, this is all that you need to have like 200, 300 plus FPS. What GPU and CPU are inside? All right. So. For the CPU, we have all the way, well, basically this is like the infinite, so not the infinite X, but then smaller. So they have like the same specs, but then this one is just smaller. So literally, if you want to have this spec, you have two options. You can have the small form factor, uh, infinite S choice, or you can go for the regular infinite series. 
that's also a choice, but they have the same specs more or less. So if we go back to uh, the PowerPoint, you can also see here, let me move here a little bit. So here is what you can expect. Uh, um, Force are saying that's a small beast. Indeed. That's, Jade uh, is asking. Intended. Jade is asking why we don't like AMD. Well, he, he's basically asking: <laughs> Are there any builds with AMD? We we have, we have, we definitely have. So uh, you, if you go check out uh, Codex, uh, you will find them. Uh, I think in quite some online retailers, but the but those are like project-based uh, desktops. So yep. you know, we are also very dependent on retailers and e-tailers and what they order from us. And we know f in in the general sense that they are very well. Um, I would say nowadays hesitant with AMD, but they were more hesitant with AMD. So we knew that you know there is just more demand from Intel. So it's not like we hate AMD or we don't like AMD. We definitely still have AMD. Uh, I think I believe we have more projects coming up with AMD. Yes, but more in about the in the future about so that. Obviously, you know we also notice you know the, the the performance increase and stuff like that. So yeah, we it's not like we don't like them, not at all. <laughs> So more will come. And right now you can also look up Codex if you want to have the AMD is setups. Yeah, people are discussing it like, um, yeah, there's no need to go over uh, 1080p 60 FPS, uh, especially if you play uh, Protesta games. It, it really depends on indeed what your preferences are. I mean, JA is more like an eSport player, uh, CSGO, uh, Counter of, uh, that's a Counter Strike, uh, Call of Duty. Depending on what you play, I mean, Call of Duty can be really heavy with ray tracing and stuff, DLSS. <coughs> yeah, but I'm I'm a hardcore FPS and esports fan. Yeah, and I like so. graphics, so of course also FPS, but graphics. Yeah, that's that's why Eric stole the 3090 and took it home with him, <laughs> and then yes. started and then started playing the I Battlefield. I borrowed it, <laughs> and you know which version I borrowed? Because uh, Peter Peter then wasn't in the office, and I saw a Supreme version. Ooh, the Supreme. big boy Supreme. Yeah. So and uh, I even had to buy an extra power supply because mine in my PC at home it wasn't uh, powerful enough. But does it still work? That's the question. It works. All right. <laughs> Moving on. So um, besides the hardware, uh, you know, all the components and the features and stuff like that, uh, we also have uh, the software side, which is our Dragon Center. Uh, with Dragon Center, uh, you can tune a lot of the settings, you can monitor your uh, desktop, uh, you can also set up profiles in which it will prioritize games, so you will make sure that your game will have the best allocation of your system resources and then all the goodies. I'll show you in just a minute, uh, briefly. Uh, in there, you can also tune uh, Mystic Light. So what I also showed you before, which will synchronize your system and it will even work with your entire peripherals and your entire ecosystem if they're like Mystic Light enabled. And this doesn't limit to uh, MSI products because we also have third party uh, partners that work with us. And uh, yeah, we uh, have a very, very broad ecosystem when it comes to RGB syncing. And we all know how important RGB is because you cannot win a game without RGB. So let me now show you guys. If we switch to the other one, what Dragon Center so is. So this is uh, all about the, let me see, this is the PC you're running over there, right? Yes. <clears throat> if you open Dragon Center, um, well, there are quite a few interesting places, ja. but I'm not going to go through them one by one. Yeah. Yeah. Can you empty uh, the the bin, the trash can? Empty the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a? Uh, no, not at all. I f I I just feel happier yeah. like this. I know, that's what I wanted to ask, but I didn't know how to ask, because some people just have this behavior. No, I don't have this. No, you don't. Just, just, just makes me more happy. <laughs> okay, so now it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> um, yeah, we have gaming modes. Um, so here uh, you can make sure that um, you know the games that you have selected, that they do have the best allocation for uh, whenever it is that you're playing. That your system is really prioritizing those kind of games with uh, all of its resources. <clears throat> 
And if you are getting into uh, you know system monitoring stuff like that, and you know all the programs out there are a little bit too complicated for you and don't know what means what, here you have a very simple overview of your CPU. Uh, the frequency, for example, and you have the clock, uh, all the other simple uh, stats. So here you can have a simple monitoring experience of your system without, you know, having knowledge of how some software works specifically uh, that does this uh, explicitly. Uh, yeah, question from the chat, uh, delayed student. Uh, can I update uh, the BIOS via Dragon Center? Uh, I believe you can, yeah. Um, With live update, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. In live update, there is a different segment in which you can choose other uh, components that you want to upgrade yeah. or update. Uh, I, I can check this later uh, when it gets there. But um, yeah, so you can also pop this out, and this will be on the foreground of whatever it is that you're running. So uh, if you, oh, I didn't want to do that. If you're doing something else, uh, you can still have this monitoring uh, windows popped up. And if you don't want this, just click it away. So a very simple overview of your systems. Um, now, Mystic Light. This is where a lot of the fun will happen. Because here you have, for example, here you see uh, the infinite. It will recognize what kind of hardware is connected at the moment, you know, including peripherals. And here you can choose all of the nice effects, uh, the, all the presets. One moment, yeah? Yep. Um, I'm going to take the detailed cam, uh, which is, let me check, detailed cam. Yes, that's this one. And I'm going to put it. Oh, hey, you do uh, you do live? It's then. all happening live, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, personally, I really like the Pfizer uh, one. This it's it's it, I don't know it's it has a really really distinctive feel to it, and it just yeah, it's one of my favorite. Of course, whenever green is visible, you see like a matrix glitch uh, in there. But well, that's of course because of the green screen. And uh, yeah, we can't show green in our RGB. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, so very simple here. Um, yeah, there's plenty more to do with Mystic Light, but that's uh, something that we have already covered thoroughly before because you can sync this with your entire system when it comes to NanoLeaf and Philips Hue, and you can display in game uh, environments and actions and stuff like that throughout your entire lighting system. If, for example, here you see all the games that are right now uh, compatible with this feature, plenty of uh, stuff to do with it. <clears throat> Noise cancellation, also a very, very nice feature uh, exclusively for desktops. Uh, I did a dedicated live stream also with Eric, uh, I believe last year, uh, with, was that with the ASUS TI5? Um, yeah, it was with the TI5, in which we dedicated the entire live stream to like sound tune, like how this will help you uh, play without any background noise, whether it's coming from your friend's end through his <laughs> microphone yeah, that was fun. or it's coming from your end because the microphone will cancel out uh, the background noise from both ends, from your friend's end and from your own environment through uh, AI, which was very, very interesting to test. Like we had like hammers and uh, guitars and we had uh, tons of stuff here to test out live. And oh it yeah, I was playing fake guitar. <laughs> yes. You were trying, you were trying at least. Yeah, I was doing my best. A uh, question yeah. from the chat, is Afterburner done and gone? Uh, Raphael on YouTube, no? No, 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 no. It's still going really hard. Yeah, I, I think Afterburner, uh, it's right we here, just released right a new version today, I think. Uh, should be 4.6 on something. Afterburner will never die. Ah, well, don't say that. <laughs> I jinxed it. Don't say that. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, that's sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, what do what do you do? Uh, I own some uh, nano leaves. Does the pro program uh, have support for them? Uh, what was the exact question with nano leaf? I support? own some nano leaves. Yeah. Does this program have support with them? Oh yes, yes, yes. That's what I just tried to explain, but maybe I was a little too fast. If you go to Dragon Center, you go to Mystic Light. You yeah, have them here as well. Yeah, and you click, click on the ending link. And yeah, yeah. Well, 
not sure what I'm supposed to do with them right now, but uh, can't really get them to work. <laughs> So, yeah, we also have them here. Uh, we use them regularly for our the green uh, is videos not, uh, and for our live not streams. Not friendly to our green screen. And yeah, they definitely work. And the way you have to set them up is actually really simple. Uh, yeah, our software team uh, did a great really job. Really simple this. because you did it many times. No. <laughs> you practice. I know what you're trying to do there. <laughs> how, yeah. how many times did we put them on our uh, wall and... <sighs> yeah, well, that's because our, our wall is really effed up. It's, it's, yes. it's not meant for this. It's not a flat surface. So we have used banana leaf on our walls for, you know, videos and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, every time, you know, after 30 minutes, you know, everything is like down on the ground. Yeah. Beautiful. beautiful anyway, process. we're now fixing that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, here in Ending Link, that's uh, where you have to be. You just click on Nano Leaf and you click on Search. Uh, if your Nano Leaf is on the same network, you have already set this up through the app itself. Then it will find it here, and then you just click on it, and it's connected. Once it's connected, you can go to ambient mode, and uh, here you can uh, choose all the effects that you can, well, whichever you like. Um, and this effect will play throughout your entire system and uh, Nano Leaf uh, <coughs> continuously. Yeah, and also uh, Philips U is supported. Mm -hmm. If you have that, you can also include it. And then if you go into a game, there are six games right now, and we're working on more to develop more that's compatible with uh, not, uh, with Ambient Link uh, here. That's really where it starts to shine. So we, uh, you can also go to our playlist on YouTube, uh, MSI Insider. You can also find there. Uh, we have done plenty of videos uh, regarding this. Uh, there, uh, Michiel also did a dedicated RGB puking uh, st live stream where this was also uh, a part of it. So, yeah, that's uh, how you do it. Very simple. <coughs> okay, now I'm going to uh, get into uh, Valhalla. So I already saw somebody asking, hey, there's a lot of GPU load. Well, Valhalla was running in the background. Yes. So uh, right now, let me show you guys what this game is set up to. So we don't have an RGB setup uh, today, right? No, not today. I have done a... Yeah, yeah just put it on the floor, John. Yeah, I've already done a uh, live stream. Also, it was with uh, Valhalla, I think, just about two, three months ago, uh, yeah. in which I used you know, Philips Hue, Anonymous. I was there, I was there. Everything. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I was telling the chat. Uh, testing out, you know, what kind of uh, special effects there were and how it worked with uh, the entire system. It was uh, quite fun. You can look it up once again in our playlist uh, afterwards if you're bored. Um, so here graphics, uh, you can see here, it's set at 1440p. Um, everything is set at ultra high. And if I walk around, uh, so it's sitting a, at a steady 80 to close 90 ish. What resolution are you playing? Experience 4040p. 4040p. Yeah, yes. I just uh, I just showed this in the settings. <coughs> so uh, as you guys know and are maybe familiar with uh, the Assassin's Creed <laughs> series, it's a notoriously hard game to run <laughs> for your GPU. Yeah. Uh, so. But also looks great. Yeah, definitely. But. Yeah, so right now we're going into the 90 territory and then back to 80 and 90. Uh, the GPU is sitting at a steady 70 degrees. And it's been already like running in the background the entire time that we've been streaming. So it's, it, it's not like it's just started. So that's uh, its max, 70 degrees. And it's running at 95, 90, uh, 98, 97%. So pretty much uh, at its max. And the CPU is sitting comfortably at well, between 50 uh, and 67 degrees. Uh, so Ruslan, Ruslan is saying in Russia, uh, you can buy a GPU right now because miners they are a bot, they buy them before they arrive at the counter. Yeah, it's really pity. I hope the, the Nvidia um, <laughs> nerving uh, helps a bit. Miners, miners, miners. Really yeah, and this will not stop. Streams. That's so a shame. Ivan is asleep on his watch. If you look at the price, 
Now, I also have... Let me show you this. <clears throat> the entire graph of, uh, with uh, CPU power, the usage, and uh, the temperature to uh, show you guys a little bit more details regarding how the system is performing right now. And let's go back so I can show you guys later when I've done uh, the test. So yeah, <clears throat> very, very comfortable, very smooth. No problem with anything, but that's uh, also what you come to expect from a system like that. Ah, I'm out of error. Do you play this game? I've played this for like five hours, I think. Okay, I think. But uh, you were asking if I play this at home? No. Yeah, that's yeah. I play. I play, I try to play it like um, right now. Thirty hours or something. Right now, Call of Duty and uh, CSGO just require too much time for me already. Call of Duty again. Yeah, the game is just so fun to play with friends. Yeah, I, I recently started. Last week I started again, I was yeah. like fed up on in Battlefield 4, so... What games do you guys play? Yeah, let us know in the chat. Ah! Uh, don't you hate it when you don't have arrows? You can craft them. Yeah. Okay, so this is 4040p. Now, I know that the majority of the guys uh, out there are still playing on 1080p, so if you're wondering uh, you know, what the performance of this system is like on 1080p, let me show you right now. I believe you also need to change NDI settings, not? Uh, I don't think NDI, but well, it's, it's already set at uh, monitor resolution i think i just have to change the yeah. desktop resolution back to 1080p and then it's fine <coughs> do, do, do. technicalities well, with the capture i need to hear i need to fit it uh, to the background again uh, fit the screen so now we add 1080p everything is still set to ultra and we have gained about 20 fps which is yeah it's def definitely a big plus <coughs> and yeah well of course you do notice the difference uh, if you're used to uh, looking at 1440p uh, or quad hd uh, well, at 27 inches, that's what I'm playing at right now. Uh, you definitely notice the difference when you go back to 1080p. Uh, I will say that now that I have noticed and I have seen and experienced 1440p, I don't really want to play at 1080p. <laughs> so, you know, once you get spoiled, that's, that's, the that's point. it. It's just like when you uh, back in the days when you like uh, playing with 60 hertz monitors and you went to like 144 hertz monitor. It's yeah. like no way you're ever going back. Sibe is playing Farming Simulator. Cool game. Farmer Simulator, Farming Simulator 19. You yeah. know that, Jan? <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I noticed. I'm not played it, but I know that it's just looking bombing. My my brother is crazy. He also bought a, like a like a steering wheel. <laughs> Just for that game. You know, I always like uh, fancy the graphics of the simulator games. They are just so good. Oh, Rocket League. Uh, Michiel, he's uh, Mike. He's totally crazy uh, of like Rocket League. Um, why you don't have an online store like other brands? Uh, I believe we have some uh, online stores in like Italy. Um, Germany, uh, I think in the US, not sure. So in some countries we have an online store, but it's uh, indeed, like what you say, uh, really limited. Stickman. Stickman, is that a game? I know the... Yeah, the Stickman is a very, very simple 2D game. I, I know it's also like a movie, like a cartoon. Hey, Raphael, Battlefield, yes, I like. Battlefield 1 and 5. I prefer four, but Battlefield is Battlefield. Looking forward to Battlefield Six or whatever it's going to be called. Okay, I'm switching back to 1440p. Top one. There you go. Not the top one. 
Okay, then I have to fit the screen again. Fit the screen. So as you guys see, uh, everything is still running at a steady pace. Uh, CPU is 70 degrees, 97% uh, in uh, occupied. It's drawing about 250 watts. Um, CPU sitting at below sub 60, uh, drawing about 70-ish watts. So if you guys are also wondering about, okay, uh, with this kind of systems, if you're planning on using this kind of hardware, uh, you know, what kind of GPU, uh, I mean, PSU we need, uh, the power supply. We quite often get this question in our live streams, like, hey, if I want 3080, if I want 2080 or 3080, you know, what kind of, what, what kind of power supply do I need? Well, here you can see I'm demonstrating live with a 10900K and the 3080. I'm drawing about, let's equal the two and take, round it up. Say right now, if I don't move, it's about 330, 40, 50. Let's just take 350 watts. If you count other peripherals and other components in your system, let's take a big gap uh, of 50 watts. So you're sitting about uh, 400 to 450, maybe even 500 in some specific cases. Um, so yeah, that's uh, about the power draw. It's not that shocking, actually. <laughs> As a person stuck in 1080p, really curious what 4040p feels like. <laughs> oh, it, it, it it's like a drug. It, if you start with it, you don't want... Yeah, it feels like that your eyes uh, have been seeing the world as it is and it seems fine. But <laughs> like the Matrix. then you bought glasses and then you put on the glasses and everything just like got sharper. <laughs> I, I that, still remember that when like. I, a uh, long time ago, I lasered my eyes. Uh, I used to have contact lenses and laser my eyes. And uh, when I came outside the first, uh, yeah, like after the, the, it's not really like a surgery, but anyway. Like what I did, I was, of course, it, it, like it was, uh, I had a lot of pain, but I was like, whoa, the trees are not green anymore. It's like I can see leaves. It's not the uh, blurry green thing. <laughs> so that's probably how it feels like. I mean, uh, uh, I wanted to say, you know, you can uh, go to your local shop and you know, see what 4040p is like, uh, you know, maybe even run some gaming demos uh, on there, but of course everything is closed right now, like... Well, uh, if you're lucky, you're in one of the regions where everything is actually, uh, yeah, open. Right here in the Netherlands right now, we're not that lucky because you know, we're still in full lockdown. <laughs> ja, you know any martial arts? Uh, not really. You know, I used to do a lot of this kind of stuff when I was younger, but uh, back in the days, back in the days. I used to do judo. But can you still do it? No. No. No, that's too long ago. I didn't even know that. I had a tournament set and all that kind of stuff. It's really fun, but... Where, where the hell did I get my beer from out of nowhere? I mean, white beard. Well, apparently there's nobody to fight. So let me just do some parkour. 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 Yeah, still a lot of people play in uh, 1080p. But that's fine. I mean, uh, it's it's a choice. I mean, 1080p, uh, 144 or 240 hertz, or you go like 4040p, and then if you use the same uh, VJ car, uh, you don't get as high FPS. And and that's even more terrible with uh, 4K. I mean, 4K 120, it's you need powerful hardware for that. Depending, of course, on the game. And yeah, and Michiel will say, ah, we don't care about details, we care about FPS. Mm, I'm like sitting in between, I mean, it, it depends on what kind of game I'm playing. 
If it's like an esports game where winning is by everything, uh, then yeah, I don't care about the tactics. Trading a needle to an arrow, Creed, I, uh, Can you yeah, teach me the I think I would like to have I would be happy the quality. To See how I'm standing. An arrow, woman. Plant your feet in the ground. No wider oh, than your shoulders. She just gave me arrows. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Wait, where are my arrows? You have a beautiful motherboard with the uh, EK water blocks. Uh, he's talking about MPG Z590 Carbon EKX. Uh, well, we, we don't have it here yet. Uh, but when we have it, we will also include it in one of our live streams. Sorry, we don't know Russia. Something about RTX and pricing. We don't know Russian. I know Russia. I was there. Nice country. Bliad. I just died. Ah, good. Now we can cut open some chairs, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let me just exit and then... I mean, if you want to cut the chairs, you can also do it. No. You seem very eager. No. But, which one shall we open? Let's first do a giveaway. Right? Seems legit. Now, uh, okay, so before the graph runs any further, uh, just quickly this. So, as you can see here, very, very stable uh, everything was uh, yeah, nothing in the ordinary. Uh, some people ask about the uh, cooling uh, efficiency before. Uh, well, as you can see here, the GPU temperature, it never got higher than 70 degrees. Well, there's 71, 72, but that's it. And uh, for the CPU, uh, the highest was about 69 degrees, but that's just for like a brief second. The rest, it was setting at around 60 degrees. And right now, it's just a normal ambient uh, room temperature. Yep. Okay, <clears throat> I think Eric already uh, drew a new winner. And in the meantime, if you have qu questions regarding all of this, the performances and stuff like that, uh, temperature, power draws, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I think we're going to congratulate the second winner of today of the Valhalla game code. Yes, and this one is won via the uh, loyalty bonus. Oh, again. Uh, congratulations. People paid attention. Congratulations, uh, Kyo Suzanne. Indeed. Uh, hope you enjoy the game and hope that you get better at the game than me. <laughs> than <Definitely>. ja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be uh, doable. Yeah, I was kind of lost the entire time, but uh, yeah, it's Assassin's Creed. It's, it's a game that requires some time and grinding and really uh, getting the, the, the know how. But yeah. Uh, hope you have fun with it. Uh, we will contact you guys. I will contact you guys in the coming days, probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, contact you by email and get you the game code. So guys, don't worry. We still have more to give uh, give away. So if you still didn't win anything, don't worry. Um, yeah, there's still more to come. Okay. Yeah, David James is uh, saying uh, microcenter in the US, uh, they uh, got some CPUs, but like only two pieces of MSI, like really low quantity. How do you get more loyalty bonus entries? Uh, if you each week, I, I think it's something like this, uh, the more you watch, each 10 times you get like one entry extra, something like that, not 100% sure. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Chrysler, that's something else. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> now, so that's about the uh, gaming PC performance of the Infinite X. So uh, decoder, yes, we know it says Merry Christmas because I changed it after Christmas. During Christmas it was something else. I don't know why, we, we changed it. You like Christmas. So, Ja. Yes. Now, if you are, of course, gaming, and I'm not sure about you guys, but generally when I game or you know the, the people that I hear about or see, 
it generally game for quite some time and uh, well me myself example I have a quite a weak back uh, my lower back is kind of like damaged from back in the days uh, the extreme sporting and stuff like that so I'm very clean I'm very keen to you know when I win a game I need to have some great lumbar support and just the chair is generally comfortable to sit in for hours to come now of course, with this kind of PC, you want to enjoy it as long as you can, right? Given, you know, you're not being uh, yelled away by your parents or your girlfriend or anything like that. But if you want to be comfortable, we have been working on gaming chairs for quite some time now. I believe now for uh, close to two years. And, you know, after a lot of research and stuff like that and uh, testing out uh, the water and stuff, um, was the CH1110 that came to birth, which is, uh, yeah, the one that I'm sitting at right the now. The same like so me, like mine, this right? Was, yeah. So this was the very, very first model that we brought out, the MAG CH1110, uh, so 110. Uh, I have to say we had one model earlier, uh, but we did only bundling. Yeah, uh, that was like to, if you, like, if you bought a gaming PC, we had an action, you could, uh, uh, get a uh, gaming chair with it, something like that. Yeah, so that one was also a, just a little project-based bundling and stuff, but this was really yeah. like the dedicated or very, very first gaming chair. And we really wanted to, to uh, yeah, do a good job at this because, you know, you don't want to start out uh, half-baked, so we really threw everything at it, and this was as premium as it could get. Uh, extremely well and thick padded, the XXL padding. And you really do feel it when you sit on it, but uh, yeah, uh, besides that, so we all started with a TCH 110. The so CH is for gaming chair? Doesn't yeah. sound... chair. Oh, just chair, okay. <laughs> so the MAG is uh, the gaming segment of it. Um, yeah, so that's about two years ago. And of course, since then, we uh, haven't been still. And we uh, developed and uh, researched. Uh, and Ford came more models. So of course, the next generations of the CH110 uh, became the CH120 series. And that's also kind of like the, the, the main topic, the main badass of today, which is this right here. Um, let me put this back a little bit because I can finally stand up and you know sitting here for all this time it's uh, it's not easy so I'm glad that I can stand right now <clears throat> so we have uh, came up we have come up with quite a few new models and uh, right here you can also see we have like the Fahala special version now the aesthetics wise well, aesthetics wise you can see this uh, well we've gone for quite a different way and uh, different look compared to how we started uh the red of course you know msi being you know, mainly red which is like kind of our color uh it's really really present here and continuing forward we still kept it in the lineup but uh we have of course we heard well, we heard you guys, well, maybe not you guys specifically, but we got the feedback that people were asking about, you know, hey, what about a, a black version? Hey, what about this kind of combination? Because uh, these were apparently uh, very, very well liked by people. Uh, so through the research and you know, learning from the feedback, we came up with, uh, for example, this one, which is a full black version. Where should I put Lucky? Let's put him here. <clears throat> so uh, this is the CH120i, which is really our kind of our Knight Rider full black, and it kind of resembles our motherboard, the uh, Unify, which is also like a full black, no RGB, no nonsense, uh, bam, and it really just kind of fits in every setup. I mean, because there is no specific. Uh, color palette that's present here, which is also very important, of course, that your chair can fit in your setup. So I can imagine that some guys might say like, hey, uh, I like, you know, the quality and the chair and stuff like that, but the red just is not my thing. 
understandable, of course. I mean, uh, it's all personal. Um, you know, you, everyone's taste can differ. So that's why we listen to you guys and, you know, uh, develop more variations in our lineups. So came forth like this one and later I'll also show you in the CH120 <laughs> lineup what kind of colors combine what kind of other color combinations uh, there are uh, so this is for not the only one right now we already have uh, besides this one two more models available and uh, this one being a special project based uh, version so this is not a regular well, uh, not like a limit more like limited edition yeah very limited edition um, yeah, and besides this one, we also have a, even a newer generation, which is our most premium one. But um, this is more or less like the focus for a lot of you guys, because uh, not everybody is going to want to pay the premium price for the premium premium one. Uh, that's like the same with uh, you know the same with the gaming PC. Some people just want to have a good gaming PC, but they don't need to play everything at 8K and Ultra. This is the same case. You know, some people just want to have a good-looking, comfortable, good chair, and that's it. Uh, and that's why this one is really uh, the popular choice. Also, I would like to think that it's because of its look, the full black. I mean, it's, it's kind of badass. Uh, I mean, maybe you like a full white version, then this is not for you. But yeah, this one has proven to be quite popular. And uh, if you are, a, for example, a gaming fan that likes to have something like a uh, merchandise style uh, gaming chair, then yeah, the limited edition of Valhalla is still uh, some very, it's a very interesting choice for you, but it is very limited, I must say. And this is probably going to be the one that we're going to cut open, which is still um, very painful, but <laughs> Well, I see, I see people are you going to, uh, asking, are you going to give away a gaming chair? Uh, we did already, um, and maybe we'll do it in the future, not today. <laughs> Maybe the one we will cut open. <laughs> you, you get you, it. Yeah. If you still want that one, I mean, it's free for pickup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not sure how it will look. Um, <laughs> are you going to make gaming couches? No. <laughs> no, it's currently no plan. I think uh, the, the plan that's going to be more interesting for me personally in our gaming chair lineup is that we're going to work on gaming chairs with full on RGB, like just. RGB puke mm, That would be cool. I mean... Confirmed? Is this like... Uh, nope. No. Okay. Nope. Not confirmed. So you're speculating. But I wouldn't be surprised. Mm, but don't be surprised. Yeah, I mean, uh, I would like to have some mystic light on this bad boy and uh, flex with my RGB when my friends come around <laughs> and they'll be like, what? But uh, yeah, that's just me. Let me know, yeah, guys. What, what do you think? Uh, would, would you like to have some RGB on this, or you know, any other chair? I'm curious. <coughs> uh, okay. So, other questions. Final other series is offer to pick up the cut uh, chair series. <laughs> how how do I get in contact with you guys? Mr. Offer. You see, wait until you see what Jan makes of it. Half it cut open. <laughs> okay, well, Eric, you started it, so I'll let you uh, handle it. And uh, so, of course, you guys will be wondering how does it feel? How does it sit? How well does it go back? Very far. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, show us. Okay, oh. well, it's actually really comfortable, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, I already like read some comments uh, saying before like, hey, uh, it, it's, it's really, uh, you know, mimicking the, the racing kind of style uh, sitting, sitting. And that's true, uh, you know, especially this one, it's really, you know, gives you that driver feeling, you know. <laughs> Uh, I must admit that the first few times when, when I uh, got like the gaming chair, I was really like, you know, it's so much fun to really play with this. RGB would be nice if it's uh, wireless. Wireless, well, I suppose it's, it's so going batteries. to have a big battery underneath. Yeah, and then you want to control it, so there should be some, uh, some wireless device like either Bluetooth or wireless, wireless LAN yeah. in. But maybe, who knows, in a few years, because, uh, you know, there's... Xiaomi is actually already developing, like, a uh, 
wireless charging yeah. without contact. So maybe that's the no, future. Not sure if I want to be uh, between <laughs> that with my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you're that kind of uh, people. So what do you think about like... No, no, I'm totally not that kind of people. But uh, yeah, there is a limit. There is a limit? All right. I guess uh, 5G is still safe, right? <laughs> 5G is uh, <laughs> for sure, 100% safe. All right. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys some more about the, uh, the, the aesthetics, the outside of the gaming chair. So I'm going to push this one, for example, a little bit closer. Um, get it up. So from this camera angle, let me show you, make some room. Yeah, that's a good idea. My, uh, my microphone cable came loose. Okay. <laughs> So here, full black, uh, you can see here we have like a grayish finish. Um, well, some people don't like the head cushion, some people do, so you have the opportunity to uh, take it off if you don't like it. What you're left with is really it's typical I uh, don't like it. racing uh, seat cup. But I don't like the two cushions, I always take them off, same like here. Let me get this up. And if you're wondering what this is, it's to adjust your lumbar support. Uh, me personally, without this, I'll probably die. Uh, for some people, you know, uh, because the chair itself, it's already designed in such a way that uh, the back support is already kind of like fitting the, the, the natural form of how your uh, back is supposed to be. And and for some people, they do require some extra uh, lumper support. And that's really where this one comes in. And really, without it, I uh, can't really survive. So you can adjust it with this. It looks big, but don't worry because it's actually not that thick and it's really soft so once you sit uh, on it with your back it's going to create just about enough support for your back that uh, it's it just becomes yeah, just really comfortable but again that's uh, also very personal because I need this maybe Eric hates it so I uh, hate it yeah and if you hate it once again you're free to do however you like uh, you can just take this off and off it go and it's gone but since I'm using it I'm keeping this on very easy to assemble um, if you I think how long ago John did we do a live stream about how to assemble this uh, uh, game chair one year a year and a half ago I yeah. believe you yeah year and a half, it was like in June, June or July in 2019. You can uh, look up that video or the live stream that I did, uh, which was actually, I think, yeah, maybe not the exact one, maybe the one that Eric's sitting on, but it was this model that I uh, pre-assembled from the box. It still works? Yeah, of one course. Of I did it work, of course it works. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so it's actually really uh, easy to assemble because it comes in part one, part two, part three, part five, uh, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. <laughs> four, and then we have five, six, and seven. So the last part. But yeah. Actually, the, the bottom three parts, all you have to do is just stack them on each other and that's it. You don't even like need a screw or something. You just stack them in, that's really, that's it. Because the piston is like the connecting part and there's no any mechanical parts or screws or anything that you need to do to uh, yeah, attach them. So uh, that's really easy. Uh, the only part where you will need the screw is to uh, assemble, let's say, the bottom which I can also show you here. Oh. Let's turn this around. You want, you want to use that? Yeah. So 
So here you see where the piston is located. You see that there are uh, quite a few screws where the armrest starts or actually ends. Those are actually the most screws that you have to uh, use and attach. So those uh, uh, four on each side? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and then the, the, the middle four other screws. And then you're pretty much uh, there. So okay, yeah. let's do another giveaway. I already see uh, some people giving silent hints. I hope Sil I get a copy, please. <laughs> oh, I was just about to say, how can you give a hint in the chat silently? But uh. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> I mean, he's not saying, hey, guys, wake up, the giveaway. He's just being polite. It would be nice if I won this game. Yeah, don't destroy everything. It's not a race chair. Well, technically. <laughs> technically. Uh, we have the next winner, also via loyalty bonus. I really well, like that. Well, well, well. Um, Let's see. Hannah. Oh, that's a simple name. Congratulations, Hannah. This one's for you. In the coming days, uh, Ja will send you the game codes uh, yep. for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, if you want to participate, you can still do. Go to Amazon.com slash 2 slash insider right or here. on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, we have a... Um, how do you say? Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the chatbot. Yeah. So, yeah, every five minutes, uh, the chatbot will also drop the direct link. So, ja. if this one doesn't work for you, the link is right here. Uh, just... You you, you, there is a hole in your sweater. Yeah, I think I was uh, I used a screw uh, earlier and. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking in a way, are people gonna notice it? Yeah, people in chat noticed. Very good, very good. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Okay, so. Now, first of all, you guys will be wondering, okay, what kind of material is this? How does it feel? This is a uh, PVC leather, and it's very, very sturdy. Uh, it's pretty much, if you want to get a crack in this one, it's going to take you maybe a uh, couple uh, decades, at least, with very, very heavy usage. So this is very, very durable and very strong against cracks and uh, st stress cracks and also uh, you know when you because you know that's the problem with the cheap chairs they look good at first and then after having used it for like a month uh, you notice that it's the material is just shit so you get uh, cracks you get big um, well, spots of damage and like that very easily just by simply using it uh, yeah, uh, somebody's asking, very good question, is there a l weight limit on the chair? Yes, uh, it's 150 kilos. If Woo, so it still fits me. I'm not so sure. Come on. I'm not so sure. I 110. Mean, <laughs> wishful thinking, Eric. Nah. Uh, yes, but uh, I wouldn't worry about this if I were you guys. It's a stupid question because I'm already sitting on a chair. <laughs> I'm, ask, I'm fi trying to find a question. Okay, so Eric will try to find a question and I will ask. No, somebody's saying my, my English is not good, so I'm checking what he asked. What, what did he ask? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to check, trying to help him. And I cannot find it. Mm, he's chatting. This just feels really satisfying because this is not a simple uh, print. It's really uh, embedded and it has a, like a total different um, yeah, material. And you can also really see it here. And it's also actually kind of a little bit shiny and um, it really sets it apart. And it's also, of course, if you compare this to the previous version, It's a little bit more there, you know, it's, it's a little bit more, let's say, um, 
yeah, it, it's it's really it grabs a lot of attention, and not everybody likes that. So this is like much more subtle. Uh, that's also you know what we have heard from people that this is much more preferred than you know how we start with. <coughs> Okay, so the back side, uh, also the same materials as the front. So basically throughout the entire chair, uh, we have the PVC leather. Um, so this, of course, uh, hardened plastic. Cha, Cha already put this here? Ah, I mean, people can really fold. Nobody stops you guys from folding. So where you guys fold? Because we did have some uh, live knife action plan for today pray to God we don't have to call 911 uh, we're going to show you guys live you know what kind of uh, well what's inside these kind of chairs you know what kind of foam uh, the construction and stuff like that and also because we can yeah and I like it's best that we do the Valhalla chair because uh, that one it's like I like uh, this one too much yeah yeah that's, that's the point. The Valhalla, yeah. I mean, this game will... Soon we don't have game codes anymore maybe to give away and then we maybe don't use it anymore. So if we want to show you the insights, it's best that we pick that one. Uh, what kind of material, how it's made, the quality, etc. <laughs> People are saying no, then you... Merrick, Merrick, I'm sure you, you were there for the previous live stream. Then also everybody said no. But... Mm, come on, why not? It's just like a demonstration. How, how do you know otherwise uh, how, how the quality is? What's on the inside? Yeah, that's true. Waste. Yeah, agree. Yeah, I, I have to agree with them. I mean, for the environment and, and yeah, it's, it's destruction of property. It's not good for the environment, just to show them. Mm -hmm. No, this is for educational purposes, right? Because <laughs> let's, let's be honest, it's the same what, it, what it comes down to here is that everything we do here is for educational and research purposes. Yeah, make it art. Yeah. Make it art. We are going to do some art lessons. Of, uh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we want to show you guys, you know, for once, just not how the game chair looks like on the outside, Damn. but also show you what it's like on the inside. Why is our so chat always really so difficult? On? I mean... Yes or no? And now everybody's yeah. saying no. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one who wants yes. <clears throat> huh. Don't worry about it, guys. It's for educational purposes, and we will all benefit from it. And you <laughs> also hate see. You. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. We did have a different kind of conclusion beforehand when we thought about asking you guys. And it seems like we have a lot of conservative people here who uh, <laughs> would like to preserve its beauty. Peta says bad. Just say yes, nobody will judge you. It's okay. That's yeah, why nobody we're here. nobody knows who you are. Okay. In the meantime, when you guys are doing that, <laughs> think about it. Let me show you guys uh, some other stuff about the chair. So, first of all, this is like the lowest. There you will go. I mean, I don't have like the longest leg in the world because I'm Asian, so this is for my legs a good height. If you have long legs, <coughs> then you can use this because right now you see my feet is not really touching the ground. <laughs> I feel like a kid, but yeah, I'm born with this. Can't really help it. <laughs> Short legs. <laughs> yes. <coughs> and yeah, so I, I believe you've already seen this part, so uh, yeah. It's uh, generally 180 degrees, but it feels <sighs> like a little bit more, but, but that's because, that's why I said generally, that's because the chair also tilts, so you see? So the back seat, the, the, well the back support, it goes 180 degrees flat, but because the chair also tilts, if it becomes deeper and more declined. How tall are you, Ja? And 180 something? If you 180. 180. Yeah. And especially, you know, this is nice if you are like, uh, I don't know, 
playing on your controller. Uh, this is really, you know, the scenario. You know, you have a little table sitting next to you with a, with a nice glass of beer and you're just, you know, very relaxed. And after five hours of gaming, you'll just be like, you know, it's time for a power nap. No problem. Take a power nap. You know, just sleep. Take a power nap. It's just really soft. So, you know, it's not just about, you know, the chair. It's, it's really about also, you know, how you use it and what kind of situations uh, you do use the chair. So, you know, are you more relaxed? Or are you really just a hardcore gamer? You know, it doesn't matter. It really just complements all of these situations anyways. <clears throat> and so when it comes to the armrest, it's a 40 armrest. So just like the rest of them, uh, you can go up, down, you can twist. And when you hold the buttons right here, you can also slide it up in front. So to match everyone's arm, everybody's arm length and your pre preference. And if that's not your preferred situa or position, don't worry. There's one more trick left. You can go sideways. A uh, question together, will be on a GT uh, 76 Titan laptop with RDX 30 series. Sorry, I don't know. So that's for the armrest. And right now, you see, if I move back, it tilts. And if you don't want this, you can just use the, the little pump here to lock the tilt. George wants to send uh, the uh, wants to send the gaming chair to Wala. I agree. <laughs> so what are you guys saying? Mickey is saying I did respect you more if you uh, cut it open. I agree. <clears throat> okay, since people don't want to cut open the limited edition, maybe we should just cut open this old and loyal soldier. Yeah, the arguments are still the same. Then give it to me. <laughs> don't it's a waste. <clears throat> okay, so what is the consensus? Uh, okay, there are people saying yes, starting to. Yeah, let's just wait until we have more people who say yes to the cutting open. <laughs> All right. What is the proof? Yeah, good point. Uh, proofs how the inside is built, uh, what the build quality is, what kind of materials we use in the inside. Tja, you have pictures of that? <clears throat> Uh, yes, I do. No, so yeah, it doesn't have any uh, pictures of the inside, so we but, have to cut it open. Yeah, but I was gonna say it's not for this model. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's generally nice because I also have pictures of how the chair is not supposed to be from the inside, and then mm. you'll notice, okay. Because it really, it's very important for you guys to know when you are interested in this, this kind of stuff, to know you know what kind of stuff you have to uh, look out for, uh, what kind of stuff you have to avoid, and what's good, what's bad, what's more durable, what's more sustainable, and what's not. So sometimes you know you see uh, gaming chairs, and they cost like very very little compared to any average brand. And there's a reason for it, and usually you'll really get what you pay for. And the chair looks all good, works perfectly at first, but then comes where the quality really matters, that it will break in like a couple months time, sometimes even after a few weeks, depending on how often, how roughly you use it also. It's just very important for you to know what's important, and especially for the padding. Is it uh, flamethrower resistant? What's the it's what? Flame thrower resistant. I haven't tested it personally, but if I have to make an educated guess, I will say no. So but we cannot test it here because of the uh, fire alarm. Yeah, I think our facility manager would go nuts if we do it. Um, but uh, I we'll, see we'll keep more in mind. people waking up and saying, heck yeah. You know, I would feel like guilty if we cut it open. But I would regret it if we don't do it. It's a dilemma. Yeah, it's part of the job. So it's part of the job. I think we have uh, reached to a conclusion, right? What is the conclusion? 
the conclusion is <laughs> oh my god only cut the stitches like that's going to help <laughs> nobody's going to make this back in one piece again let's uh, start preparing our operation table lucky can be a Should we, can we the eyewitness <laughs> nice conclusion <laughs> so first but maybe i don't even have to cut that one open because is there a zipper yeah come on don't, don't. I hate zippers. So, part two. Oh yes, don't worry. We will, t if Ja is really going to cut it open, we will take care of his proposal. Uh, that's all going to be recycled, etc. We are living in Holland and Holland, everything is, uh, you cannot throw it away without that it's like, uh, how do you say it? Split up according to all the groups and uh, recycling is a big thing. You guys are lucky, I don't need to cut this open, because this one has a zipper. So, what the, do we have here? Cam or? No, no, main cam. This one's fine. So this is the head cushion. And it's really sturdy, like the harder you squeeze it, the harder you will actually bounce back. And if you take a look inside, it, at first it seems like it's cotton, but actually if we look closer, it's like hardened and processed uh, wool. So, we, uh, we shaved some sheep for this. And so this is, you know, not your average uh, weak ass wool. This is really processed and that's where this little big and strong bounce comes from. So, let me show you. You see how quickly like it bounces back that's the resistance and, and you can also see like this the moment I open the zipper they're like all trying to crawl outside that's why so you have yeah. a huge bump here why that's how much zipper? resistance there is do you think somebody at home wants to put extra sheep in there Probably, I mean, it's, it is the Netherlands, so here it's appropriate, I guess, to do so. Okay, so let me <laughs> try to close it. Giga Ram is covering his chair, he his chair doesn't want to see this. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one uh, eyewitness less, I guess. Hard to put them back once they're out. And Are you really going to do it, Ja? But now you're really making me doubt. Yeah, well, the, the chat makes me doubt. But last time we didn't do it, so... And otherwise, I mean... <coughs> How to I, mean, the point? I, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not like a really big fan of cutting it open, but you know, we really planned this uh, for you guys to see, uh, you know, what's really inside such a gaming chair because this is like not a cheap ass, uh, you know, some stuff you get from AliExpress or something, you know, from Wish. So you know, really try to educate you guys and show you something live. What is what's really inside and what why are you paying for and why is it good? But I guess if you guys don't really want to see it, it's man, such a waste. We Repo really man understand. is saying we can only do this when we have an axe. I I don't think uh, I can legitly uh, no no I think our facility manager or HR will uh, will. Uh, I think we don't have an axe, do we? Yeah. Uh, I might have one at home. Yeah, at home. Yeah. <laughs> there. Cut the older one. What? Cut the older chair. 
Ah, oh, guys, you are... So here we have the lumbar support, which is uh, consists of the same stuff. So I don't have to show that to you again. But yeah, you guys are making this really difficult. Mm. Even Eric is doubting right now, and he has been like the biggest advocate of this whole activity. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay, then let me put this I back. hate to disappoint people. So if they're all saying no, 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 and we do yes, they probably are disappointed. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen too many yeses. I saw also a lot of yeses, yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and I see another yes. Hmm. Yeah, we do it. Yeah. Yeah, the life is gonna go in uh, he, he, right now. Somebody uh, no more turning sees back. that peep says already clickbait, and I I hate clickbait, so now we need to do it. Is it in the title? It's not in the title. No, then it's no clickbait. So we did nothing wrong, whether we cut it open or not. Are you going to cut this one open? Yep. No. Why not? Yeah, but we use we still use this one. Yeah, we have plenty of this, the, right? Why not the Assassin's Creed one? That one is the first one we can dispose of like we don't need it anymore. Yeah, uh, well... I mean, it's normally during our live streams, I mean, here we have a red one, we have a red one. Yeah, they fit. Okay, fine, fine, when fine. I prefer, if we do it, then the, the Valhalla one. Mm -hmm. Well, that was my initial thought. But, yes, uh, yes, yes. I think a lot of people were saying like, no, not a limited edition. All right, after a year and a half, <laughs> it's finally gonna happen. Some people will have traumas after this. Let me set this all up properly. Let me see. Yep. Can be closer. So we now have two camera angles. All right. Make sure Lucky is. Let me first check if Kay said something like, don't do it. From Taiwan HQ. Probably already sleeping. We we just all hey you know we're going to today we're going to talk about uh, gaming chairs. Oh cool! Um, and then I asked the uh, we're going to cut one open. Are you okay with that? No answer. No answer. Yeah. One dark man saying goodbye, old friend. <laughs> goodbye, my lover. I don't know if HR has a nice policy. <clears throat> Probably after today they will have. All right. So let's start from the top. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yes. What if there's only like uh, the same wool inside, like nothing new? There's definitely going to be something new. Okay, okay, cool. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We need to uh, make sure we have it on the camera. All right, here comes the first. Ooh. Yes. Uh, 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 the chat it's is too late no. now, guys. It's too late now. <laughs> it's too late now. Your, your arm is blocking it, so we don't see the result. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh. <laughs> don't cut the logo. We can still sell it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's still whole. So no worries. Yeah, how are you feeling? Mm, not feeling that good, I guess. Not that well. Yeah, you're feeling great. No, I don't feel that well, guys. I don't feel that well. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> oh, why did you ask me to join today? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. When is your birthday? Mm. <laughs> I think we already think have we a present for you. The, uh, I think we can get rid of the vote now, so... Yeah, we let me, let me uh, remove this. So, the first cut has been done, and here comes the second.
Easy to cut? I see you're pushing no, a lot. No, it's not easy at all. <laughs> Uncut it. That's because it's uh, quite a thick and sturdy stuff. <laughs> the people who have nightmares tonight. <laughs> well, I'm still preserving this in such a way that once it's cut open, it's still usable. Nah, bullshit. <laughs> nah, we can still use it. So, like I said, it's not that easy to cut open. Even with this. Okay, need some more cutting here. Yeah, I don't think this is covered by warranty. Oh, we're way past warranty now. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. So what do we have here? First of all, we have the first layer of foam that provides, just, it's like a mattress topper. So it's about like a centimeter thick, but it's really about what's underneath here. So here we have <coughs> the molded foam. How do you know this? It, it looks like you already destroyed two other chairs to learn this. It's, it's kind of my job, you know? Mm. So here we have a molded foam. So this is, you know, not your uh, weak ass, cheap ass foam that's, you know, uh, produced from waste from uh, factories and stuff like that, that's just gathered and then poured into a chair. You said you have uh, materials to compare it? Yes, but that's, uh, uh, I have to show it later. Because I well, don't have a hand, I have it digitally. Yeah, so maybe we can switch? Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me unlock it first. I need to go a li little back, back and forward to make sure the NDI is waking up again. No worries. Yeah. So, <clears throat> ah, right. yeah. we can see now. Basically, what I'm referring to is this and this which is like uh, throughout the entire chair. This is also recycling. So, so our chair, this, this uh, chair you cut open, not me, not us, but you, is going to be recycled as a cheap gaming chair. <laughs> or not? Uh, nope, because this is a total different material. Okay. So this is like a polyure polyurethane um, foam, which is especially molded into the chair's uh, chassis, and this is a whole different composite and com uh, of uh, material which makes this a very sturdy and breathable foam compared to uh, you know whatever those cheap ass foams are, which you can find in your uh, Amazon shipping box, you know. So it's a whole different uh, material uh, if you do this comparison. So that's why in these kind of chairs, you know, when you pay for like 50, 60 euros or dollars for it, you'll be like, yay, I have a gaming chair. It looks so good. It looks great. I like it. But then after sitting on it for a month, you already notice that it starts to make this dent that's like in the shape of your ass and leg. Because <laughs> Big shape it, in my case. It's, it's, not, it's, <laughs> it's not giving back this bouncy firm yeah. density anymore because that's the weak and cheap foam that you really don't want to have 
underneath you all those hours of gaming because you will notice pretty quickly that unlike this kind of molded foams they will start to become thinner and thinner and thinner and harder until eventually you can even feel the metal or the plastic chassis underneath that chair well in this case we have metal casing of course I like this off to show so it's all metal the entire chassis is uh, metal and here we have uh, an elastic band for uh, the bounciness <coughs> and also for the structure uh, that's also some sort of fabric right yeah and it's also very very strong fabric and so in the other kind of chairs what you uh, really like to avoid is that you eventually you actually start to feel the chassis through your foam that's how bad the quality is of the foam it's because it became so thin it became just so useless in the end after uh, you know weeks a month of sitting you will start to feel the form <laughs> of your chassis <laughs> that's underneath and this will never happen. Well, I can't speak for, you know, after 50 years, but uh, it will not happen in your gaming life. Uh, what about the sides? <coughs> uh, well, uh, let me uh, try to... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's like broken already. Yeah, so this is out. So basically, this is really the most important part of the chair, where you sit, where it carries the most weight. Oh, I really have to Can, can you more, sit huh? on it? What? Okay, go sit on it. <laughs> Why don't you go sit on <laughs> no, it? <laughs> you can go sit on it. I mean, we're like, this was a, a demo demonstration purposes. So I was like, maybe you can demo that it's needed. I saw I saw the bolts over there. I, I I prefer not to sit on it. Yeah, don't do this. Oh, oh chair. I think this is like the most destruction I've ever done on any job. No comment. I did a QB live stream. <laughs> yeah, that one is uh, <laughs> a little bit more expensive. Yeah. So here we will have what you would call the support foam. So this uh, is uh, obviously if like of a different quality than uh, the one that carries the weight. So here um, we have some regular foam, the same for the both sides, and this is uh, carrying like the, let me see if I can cut it open. So this is also part of the processed hardened foam, which embodies part of the chassis. And if you really push on it, it's uh, really dense and bouncy, just like how it's supposed to be. And this provides a little bit more softer support for your thighs, which is still quite thick. So that's the sides. It's like nothing happened, right? <laughs> yeah, indeed. I guess if I sit on this, it's actually, well, this is actually still a little bit okay. Well, on the sides, I mean, this it's already provides like quite some uh, damping. Like nothing happened, guys. <laughs> Just looks a little tired. <laughs> Like 
definitely did not expect so much struggle with this. So the construction for here is basically the same. It's you see how much stitch work there is? <laughs> I can't even get this open. Yeah, it's it's like one layer, two layer, three layers of stitching and inside materials for holding everything in place and providing more protection. So this uh, is the same. It's still the side frame, so still just covering the side frame with the same hardened foam. And I'm trying to cut into this part, which is more interesting. Hey, John, now we're really MSI insider. <laughs> <laughs> Buttons. What's inside the chair? Yeah, a lot of people are saying it is really painful to watch. <laughs> well, we didn't cut open the Infinite X, that's uh, for sure. <laughs> and yes, we talked about that already. I don't think our friends at uh, headquarters will be happy if I cut open the uh, Infinite X. Well, I'm not sure about if they're happy with this, but mm. doesn't so matter. Here we already have together combined a very it's it's uh, not thick but it provides a very sturdy because of all the different layers here a very sturdy compressed um, well quite tensed up let's say cushion for your back and then underneath there there's the all thick foam material it's the same like uh So yeah, this one is basically the same as the one that's underneath here. The same, uh, the same form, and it's all held together uh, with <clears throat> the thick as layers above it. It's, it's yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Cut it open. So yeah, that's for the back support and it's not the same material. So the most important part of the chair here, it's being uh, held together. Well, it's being bounced back by this uh, folded foam, molded foam, uh, which is really, um, you know, the, the kind of foam that you want to have in your gaming chair for all the gaming sessions. Now for the back, this is a softer foam because for the back support, you don't need as much, um, support. let's say support at all as to the bottom part because this is where all the weight is resting and this is just providing a support for, uh, well, support like it says. Uh, but it's still a very, very, very thick uh, foam together with the front layers that's also uh, very compressed and tensed up. And this all together makes up the chair. And if you start to look at like, uh, because this one and this one, they're from the same series. So the CH120. Uh, and this kind of chairs, uh, you're not paying like a jackpot, jackpot price because this is uh, where I have all I have all the details later for you. But it uh, ranges from like 220 to 60 to like 300. So they are like right there in like uh, most in the segment where most of the gaming chairs, which uh, has quality, rest in. And if you then, like I said earlier, really want to go all out with the quality, so you know, you want molded foam, uh, so really the best kind there is throughout the, the entire chair, which is like in this one, then you know, there's also where the higher cost comes from. 
but uh, yeah. It so really what do you know the price of that one? Yeah, this one is 400. But okay, that's generally the price, but you can find it cheaper in some retailers in your place. The, like each week, we say this with pricing, depending on your country, the exchange rate, the VAT, etc., etc. Yes, especially right now uh, with all the extra costs and the freight costs also being yeah. very high. Uh, yeah, nothing is really what it seems. And um, uh, also uh, with, uh, uh, I remember in the past we gave away if you bought a like MSI gaming PC or maybe. Game PC and a monitor set, you got a, a free gaming chair with it. That was the, the red one, right? Yes, that was this one. Yeah. Which is like the king. Yeah. So, from time to time, we're chairs. running action, so keep that in mind. So, do Still you think. It feels like if, nothing happened. Yeah, do you think if we put it back and, like, don't tell Michiel and uh, Peter, because next week they're going to do a live stream about uh, some. Uh, <laughs> Let me try to see how much I can put it back. Maybe they will not notice. <laughs> or maybe they will ask, what happened there? Yeah, I would just say, you know, there are like a few scratches here. Yeah, there, indeed. It. With some zip ties and uh, duct tape. Yeah. And it's back. Yeah. See? It's like new. Almost. Not a scratch on it. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to do another giveaway, John. You do that while I uh, wipe away my tears. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, my friend. Uh, can you have you, done well. Can you uh, get it from the wall because of the green screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the next uh, winner, also via the uh, loyalty bonus. Ooh, we got more and more. Thank you all. Uh, Dred, Dred, congratulations. Uh, in the coming days, uh, Ja will send you an email with a game code for Assassin's, uh, what is it, Assassin's Creed Vala. Yep. You can still win, we're still going to give away a uh, game code, uh, msider.com slash, uh, go to msider.com slash two slash insider, or in YouTube and Twitch, our spam bot is spamming the Gleam link each five minutes. So, oh, yeah, we did it. Look at all the goodies I have here. Yeah. We did it. Woo. I will take the used gaming chair. Uh, just kidding, I still need this. All right, maybe the next time we can cut open the king of all. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that's, that's one, one was okay for demo purposes, then it would be a waste of time. Yeah, no mm -hmm. comment about that. Okay, so... We, we will put, uh, maybe we put it on eBay. Yeah. Like, used I mean, gaming chair. It has value, right? It's been on the show. Yeah. Where all you guys watch. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> I know. <laughs> At least we can pretend, you know, people care, right? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, we, uh, we actually have people saying that they want the ruined chair because I put it back together quite well, right? You, I mean, you can really still restitch it if you have patience for it. No. <laughs> Damage good. Yeah. A bit of tape will fix that, definitely. Duct tape fixes everything. No, we don't cut open Lucky. No. I think then I get a, a really angry phone call from my headquarters in Taiwan. And maybe we need to find a new job. <laughs> it looks like Lucky already has stitches, or what is it? Oh no, that says uh, gaming something. <laughs> yeah, Lucky <laughs> is safe. Trust me. Yeah. Nobody would dare to touch Lucky. No. Nope. <clears throat> okay. I, 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 I can give you an example. One time uh, I wanted to make a marketing campaign and I was like, maybe we have a, like, a small boy who's fighting a big, big dragon. And uh, yeah, I mean, we cannot kill the dragon. That's basically the... The story. So don't touch Lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost. Appreciate it. <laughs> but maybe not take my name. You know, people uh, will have a hard time uh, dealing with it. <laughs> it's very hard. Very difficult. Uh, okay. So for educational purposes, now you guys know. You know what to look for. I want to avoid. Okay, because let there be something that's taken away from this lesson. Let it not die in vain. 
And furthermore, let me just tell you, because I don't have all the samples on at hand, so uh, it always freezes when you reconnect. But So I don't have the, all the samples uh, at hand. So uh, yeah, after the first one, which I'm sitting, uh, which is what, I, what I'm sitting right now, the CH110, we have developed quite a few more. So which this one, the black one, the CH120i is like the most popular one. But we have more, uh, which is like the CH120, uh, the regular one, and also the uh, X version. But we also have, in a few weeks' time, the C uh, CH130X, which is like the new king, which will replace uh, our, yeah, let's how to call this one, because he was the first, the, the OG. <laughs> the OG. So the CH130X will be our most premium uh, gaming chart that's going to come out in like a few weeks, uh, which is actually already uh, on the way. Okay, um, it's shipping uh, for, to us or to shipping to the stores? To the stores, I don't okay. think to us yet. So, ah, uh, come on. <laughs> and I think especially not after this live stream. Oh. <laughs> well, we need to make another excuse to get another game chair from HQ. Mm. Well, uh, ours was in like kind of an accident. Yeah. Exactly. Just wipe this uh, this live stream. Just say he was in accident. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, we have quite a few models for you guys to consider. Uh, you know, in the mid range, in the high range. We don't do the low range because you know we know from experience, uh, from uh, in research also that's not going to last very long. Um, so you know the main differences here is really the molding, uh, the, the the foam molding, uh, and the types of foam uh, within the chair. So for the CH120 series, which is our mid-end series, uh, which is also where the Valhalla one belongs to, you're really seeing uh, you know the best kind of foam is already being used in the place where it's needed, and the rest are very sturdy and uh, just great <coughs> supporting foam. Um, and this way, uh, you can also keep the chairs cost lower. So instead of paying like 400, you can have a, a very more than perfect chair for a 260 to 300 uh, US uh, dollars or uh, euros. And that's really where the main difference is because uh, and in all of our gaming chairs, we always give you all the features that we can offer. You know, the 4D armrest, um, the, the, uh, the 180 degrees decline, uh, you know, the very soft and smooth, also uh, scratchless feature, um, PU casters, which are the wheels. Uh, yeah, the, the steel frame. So, you know, instead of using the cheap uh, plastic and hard plastic, uh, materials as the frame build we use uh, steel just the same as the five star um, f uh, the, the, f the base it's also from steel so you know no corrosion there uh, very sturdy and it also lowers the material uh, cost when you compare this to like a um, aluminum and stuff like that um, yeah, so they all have all the gaming chairs uh, features that you want to have, <coughs> and the class the class four lift piston is also very important here. Uh, this is really, really, really um, important because this has to carry all the weight of your entire body in the chair, uh, especially when you like go up and down. And this will, the class four really takes care of the durability and the, the sustainable part of how long this is going to last you. And this is the class four, like certified by like the most prominent German uh, uh, bureau, uh, TUV. And yeah, really, Nothing much more you can uh, look for the gaming chair except for if you don't like the design, then you know we can blame you. Um, yeah, that's that's personal, personal, that's personal preference. Body. No worries. Yeah. But if it's feature, if it's quality that you're looking for, you know, if with the CH120 series, you are set. Um, you know, you want to have a midnight black that really fits in all of your setups. Uh, you know, go for that one. If you like the limited edition blue, if you can still find it, you go for that one. Oh, uh, if ready for color and black, hey, go for that one. Yeah, so. question about packs. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what our plans for packs are or, or any other conventions. Uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, um, a lot of those conventions, um, like they will be like a digital event. Uh, similar like uh, Computex in, in June. Uh, this, I mean, they have a physical event, but most part will be uh, virtual online events. So, yeah, sorry, I don't know about PAX, what the state is about that is. But, for example, PAX USA, a lot of people are vaccinated already. So, step by step, I guess, there will be more uh, events, more physical events. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you guys have feedback, of course, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, let us know because we listen uh, wherever possible we can uh, improve. We definitely try to uh, let us know, you know, if it's design or is there any features that you might think is missing. Let us know in the chat and uh, we always appreciate the feedback. So Mr. Master Doc is saying the design is not choice since 90% of the game which are produced in factories in China. Uh, yeah, it's a choice because in yeah. the end uh, we, we are design also ourselves. Sorry, we design ourselves. Yeah, indeed. <clears throat> okay, so um, uh, if I go back to the slide, I just have two, like two or three for you guys left, so it's going to be very quick. But I just want to demonstrate, like with this one. Uh, where I left off with uh, the class four piston, really, you know, it, you got to make sure it's strong. You got to make sure it's going to last all those years because you you pay for it, right? So you want to make sure it lasts. And really, this this I think this little one demonstrates very well, like just how strong it is and how strong it should be. But it's not working. <laughs> hmm. But why is it not working? I don't know. This is the first time I. I I see this kind of movie. It's weird because two hours ago it was working. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's it with live streams. But I guess the guy is uh, like... Uh, well, ejected into that's the air. Uh, anti-climax, but indeed uh, he was uh, ejected into the air uh, unexpectedly, mm -hmm. which really made it funny but uh, let's okay let's just forget about this part this is really <laughs> awkward now <laughs> yeah life yeah. but Sorry. the message is that it's good strong and definitely like officially recognized uh, by uh, the official in instances that's really really important so don't overlook this part if you're looking uh, for a gaming chair so you know it don't have to be ours or you know it can be anything but you really got to make sure the piston is up to standard <coughs> okay so this one you guys already know uh, and that's it so i've tried to keep my uh, slides to the minimum for you guys today and yeah um, if you guys do have any questions regarding all the chairs uh, or you know the gaming PC, uh, the Infinite Series, uh, anything else, any feedback, let us know in the chat because we still have some time left before we go approach the ending of today's stream. Before we're kicked out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm uh, going to talk about next week because next week we're going to have a quite interesting live stream. Uh, we have two products. Uh, we have a new liquid uh, K series, a liquid uh, cooling, a CPU uh, liquid cooling. Uh, and we have our uh, new uh, RTX 3080 Seahawk. Um, and it's uh, maybe a strange topic to combine them, um, but they're both made, or, or, or the cooling is both made uh, by uh, A-Stack. So we have, uh, I believe, two persons from ASTEC, one from the USA and one from Denmark, uh, in the live stream. Uh, well, not physically here, but you know, we do this via Skype or via some uh, conference call uh, system. Uh, so we can talk with them about uh, their patents. Uh, I think this is an interesting topic uh, because they have some patents on water cooling, uh, how, how that uh, works uh, for them. Um, and how they helped with designing these products. Uh, so Peter and Michiel, uh, they're also going to do benchmarks with these, um, with the, both the, I'm not sure if we have both K-series, because there are two, a 3-fan and a 2-fan version. Actually, I should say 360 to 40. Um, and the Seahawk. Uh, by, which one do we have here? I think the 3... We have the 240 and 360. No. Do we? I yeah, think, the, no, the, but the, the sample. Ah, okay, okay. Anyway, I, I think one we have here and Seahawk is also in. So that's for uh, next week. <laughs> no, no, no. Next week we're not going to cut it open. Actually, uh, we already did a live stream. This is <laughs> quite funny. Uh, we did a live stream about water cooling in the past. Uh, and, uh, of course, we wanted to show you what's inside. Uh, so uh, Peter uh, from our uh, FAE, he opened up the uh, water cooling block and he let out all the liquid. Uh, it's not, not really water. It's some sort of uh, mixture. Um, and we never filled it up again. So we have here, uh, I think it's a 240, 
uh, one of the MAG series, uh, 240 uh, water cooling. And Michiel, he was building a PC for he needed for a live stream, and then he put, he just oh, I take the 240, put it in, and it was like making <laughs> a strange noise, and he was doing all kinds of benchmarks and checking, hey, temps are hot. So in the end, he found out he took the MT1, <laughs> which was not working, of course. Um, anyway, um, it's still laying around here somewhere, so this mistake can uh, still happen again. Um, no, 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 no. We're well, maybe, I mean, Peter can uh, open up the video car, but we're not going to uh, destroy some things. Oh, Michiel is here, Mike is here. He says he has a 360 model. Not sure if he has requested also the 240. Anyway, that's it for this week. No, yes. no, <clears throat> I will do another giveaway. Yeah. Uh, okay, so while Eric is doing this, uh, I saw the master, Mr. Masterdog was saying... Uh, shoot. Where was it? Yeah, one moment, one moment, yeah. one moment. Uh, I now, oh, yeah, I, I, I switch. Ja I cannot see this, the chat anymore. I switch screen. Yeah, but I just remember what he said anyways. Uh, so that, um, well, gaming chairs, that they look cool. And, uh, well, uh, definitely, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying here, I'm definitely not stating that uh, gaming chairs, you know, they are the most comfortable chairs that you can get in the chair market. Of course, you know, uh, some people prefer gaming chairs <clears throat> for, you know, either it's ergonomic or because it's, it's, uh, it's, it feels nice or... But it's, it's not that they are the best <coughs> in the gaming chair market or the chair market, definitely. There are, uh, of course, also uh, other chairs that you can also go for that feel also equally good or even better. Um, but, you know, I do have to say that gaming chairs, they're also kind of like part of your lifestyle. So it, it, it's, it definitely, it's true, they look cool, but that's also part of one of the reasons why people do want it. I know me personally, I also do like to have uh, stuff that I think, you know, it looks well or it looks good or, you know, I like the way it looks and how it fits in my setup. You know, by all means, you know, that shouldn't be the reason that, uh, the only reason that people go for a chair or not, but I do definitely think that it should be part of the reason why people go for a specific uh, product or brand, because, you know, just like your clothes, you know, some people only wear clothes that are comfortable and they don't care about how it looks. But some people, you know, they think how it looks is really important because it's part of their lifestyle, it's part of your lifestyle, it's part of your setup. So I think in that sense, um, yeah, I personally do think that it is important that they do look good. Okay, uh, so the last winner of today is Baris0834. Uh, um, Congratulations. Maybe his date of birth, but I don't guess so. <laughs> then he's a bit old. Um, anyway, congratulations uh, with uh, the game key for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it that you show up each week. Yes. And hope to uh, see you guys next week. Hope to see you next week indeed. Bye bye. Take care. I'm out.